Yes, a small introduction to laser key products on how to use dial calipers. Uh, right here we have the uh, outside measurement device. Uh, up here at the top is the inside measurement device. And then uh, down at the very end of the tool, this comes out to uh, measure like inside a uh, cylinder hole. So you have three measuring devices that you can utilize. <clears throat> First thing, I measure this key and uh, get a, a fairly deep depth there, and we can bring it up and we can look, and we can see that uh, right here we're just past the two and sixty-three, so that'd be two hundred and sixty-three thousandths in that depth, and you could relate that to a specific pin depth or wafer depth. So I go to the next cut up here. And we've got 282 thousandths. And we go to one more key here, one more depth here, and measure that. And we're back to 263 thousandths. So it's two here, between two and three, and 63. So that's 263 thousandths. So uh, you could uh, measure spacing also. If we were to measure this outside cylinder of this core, which we know is a half an inch, we can see that it goes to 5, and then right here is 1. So it's 501 thousandths, just a hair over a half inch. Here we can measure the inside diameter, <clears throat> and it's just 1.18. So it's 118 thousandths on the inside pin. And if we were actually to measure a pin, we would see that uh, on the outside diameter is 115th. So that gives it three thousandths to slide inside that cylinder hole, that, that pinhole. If we measure the length on it, we can see it's just barely, <clears throat> barely inside the uh, three here and over here on the uh, 63. So it'd be 363 thousandths. We can then measure also using the depth gauge, the depth of the uh, cylinder hole itself or the pinhole. We hope it helps. Thank you.